you know, those gods of theirs themselves, they seek a means of access. Ayyuhum Akrab, who is going to be closest to Allah, and they themselves, Yarjuna Rahmata, they hope for Allah's mercy, and they fear His punishment because the punishment of your Lord is something to be afraid of. This applies again to the Christians. They're worshipping Jesus, Isa ibn Maryam alayhi salam. Yet Isa himself, he is someone, he is seeking to be close to Allah. And he is hoping for Allah's mercy. And he fears Allah's punishment. You understand? It applies to those who worship malaika, angels. Those angels themselves, they seek to be good Muslims. They hope for Allah's mercy. They fear Allah's punishment. It applies to the Arabs or the other people also who call on jinns. They call on jinns and shaitans to help them. They themselves, those jinns, they seek a means to be close to Allah. And they hope for His mercy and they fear His punishment. If you read Surah Al-Jinn, you'll see that. You will see that. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if those people you, you worship, they themselves, they seek to be close to Allah, how can you worship them? How can you worship them? It is like today when you see people, they call out and they say, Ya Muhammad, oh Muhammad, help me. The Prophet sallallahu himself, isn't he part of this group? He wanted to be the closest to Allah and he hopes for Allah's mercy and if he has his punishment, the answer is yes. So why do you worship him? You should worship the one he worships. Those who call on Hussein, Ya Hussein, Ya Ali, Madad, help us. Ya Abdul Qadir Jilani, help us. Those themselves, they try to be good Muslims, to be close to Allah, hoping for his mercy, fearing his punishment. Inna adhaba rabbika kana mahdura. And then he brings that second ayah, it says, وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ لِأَبِيهِ وَقَوْمِهِ إِنَّنِي بَرَاءٌ مِمَّا تَعْبُدُونَ إِلَّا الَّذِي فَطَرَنِي فَإِنَّهُ سَيَهْدِينَ وَجَعَلَهَا كَلِمَةً بَاقِيَةً فِي عَقِبِهِ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْجِعُونَ This is the meaning of Tawheed. Allah says, وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ And when Ibrahim says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ When Ibrahim he said, لِأَبِيهِ to his father وَقَوْمِهِ and his people because there were people who were worshipping idols and were worshipping the sun and the moon some of them وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ لِأَبِيهِ وَقَوْمِهِ when Ibrahim he said to his father and his people إِنَّنِي I surely I بَرَاءٌ I am innocent I am far away I have disassociated myself Mimma ta'budun from what you worship. I am far away. I have no association. I am free from what you worship. Illa alladhi fatarani. Except if you are to worship the one who made me, originated me. Fa'innahu sayahdeen. Then he is the one who will guide me. وَجَعَلَهَا كَلِمَةً بَاقِيَةً فِي عَقِبِهِ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْجِعُونَ Allah says that Allah, He has made it, this word of لا إله إلا الله and staying away from all other false gods. Allah has made it a lasting word amongst the offspring of Ibrahim alayhi salam so that they may turn back to Tawheed and leave shirk. This is the meaning of La ilaha illallah. It is not enough to say I worship Allah alone. You have to have bara'un. You have to disassociate yourself from all the other false gods and false religions. Otherwise your tawheed is not complete. We always say so that you can memorize in the nice way. 
for you to be a Muslim, you have to be a kafir. For you to be a Muslim, person of Tawheed, you have to be a kafir. A Muslim, muwahid of Allah, kafir, disbeliever in all the other false gods. You understand? For you to be a Muslim, you have to do kufr of all the other gods and all other religions. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, what is the proof of my words? Allah says, فَمَنْ يَكْفُرْ بِالْتَاغُوتِ وَيُؤْمِنْ بِاللَّهِ فَقَدْ اسْتَمْسَكَ بِالْعُرْوَةِ الْوُثْقَ لَمْ فِي السَّمَلَهَا So the one who does kufr of the taghut, which we talked about yesterday and day before yesterday, and that is the message Allah gave every prophet. وَلَقَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ رَسُولًا Surely we sent to every nation a messenger with what? What was the message? An Allah, that they should worship Allah alone and then وَجْتَنِمُ tawhut And stay away from the false gods. These two, they have to go together. So you say, I am a Muslim and I disbelieve in Christianity and Judaism and Atheism and Hinduism and Sikhism and Buddhism and what not. Otherwise, you are not a Muslim. Otherwise, we'll fall into the trap of those who say, oh, we all worship one God. We're all same. No, we're not same. You believe in Allah and disbelieve in everything which is worshipped because only Allah is the true God. And that is the meaning of La ilaha illallah. The meaning is what? There is no true God reserved to be worshipped except Allah. That is why when the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, he came with La ilaha illallah, what did his people say? Because they understood it perfectly. They say, Aja'ala al-alihata ilahan wahida. He's telling us to leave all the other gods and worship only one God. They understood. That's what it means for La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah means destroy all these idols. It's Allah alone who is the true God. They understood that perfectly. So Ibrahim, he announced to his father and his people, I am free from what you worship. Except if you are to worship Allah, the one who made me and you, then yes, and he is the one who is going to guide me. And Allah, he made that as a word which will remain until the last day. Until the last day. So for us to be true, Muwahidun, people of Tawheed, you have to reject and disbelieve in the other gods who are false gods. And then he says, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, he said, اتخذوا أحبارهم ورهبانهم أرباب من دون الله والمسيح ابن مريم وما أمروا إلا ليعبدوا إلها واحدة لا إله إلا هو this verse in Surah At-Tawbah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, They, meaning the Jews and the Christians, they took their rabbis for the Jews, and the Christians, they took their monks, the fathers as they call them in, in church, or the priest. They took them as arbab, gods, min dunillah, besides Allah. Wal Masih ibn Maryam, and they also took Jesus as a god, obviously. That's what they do. وَمَا أُمِرُوا But they were only commanded to do what? لِيَعْبُدُوا To worship one God. Allah. There is no true God besides Him. Surah to Tawbah, chapter number 9, verse 31. This is the true meaning of Tawheed also. We have to explain this ayah to understand Tawheed. Why was this ayah revealed? When this ayah was revealed, they take their rabbis and their monks as gods besides Allah. The Sahabi Adi ibn Hatim, radiallahu anhu, the time this verse was revealed, he was not yet a Muslim. When he heard this from the Prophet,